Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I want to show you how to move a file from your computer so stored in your documents or maybe your pictures or whatever and move it to a USB drive. Okay, so a little USB flash drive is one of those little things that you plug into the computer and it's just a tiny little thing and it doesn't really store that much so you can only put a few, I mean you can put a fair few files on there nowadays but it depends what you're putting on there so if you're putting a movie or something like that you might only fit one or two it depends on the size of the movie um, if you're putting word documents you, you're going to fit a whole lot of them and pictures, um, a little bit less pictures but word documents and, and text documents you'll fit a lot now what we're going to do, I've opened up my, um, well actually I'll close that and I'll go and find a file. So we can go to documents, okay, so just say that I have a document that I want to put on a USB stick. So we'll go to documents, go into there and you've got to find the document yourself. So you've got to know where it is or whatever. So we'll go in there. Okay, so we're back here. So that's how I got there. Now you can also get pictures and stuff like that. Your pictures are usually stored in there. It depends. Some people, you know, store them somewhere else. But anyway, so just say you can find your file. That's fine. The one that's on the computer. Um, just let's say um, you might have downloaded something and you don't know where it is and you want to put that file on a USB stick. You go into MITS or your username, so I'll go up here, see my username's there. Click on that and um, this folder comes up and it has a downloads folder. It's hidden from you, see? So you can go in there and see if the download is in there that you're looking for. Alright, so we can find the file okay so just say I want to use this file to put onto a USB stick now I'm gonna go and open up my computer now in Windows XP it's called my computer on Windows 7 and Vista and that it's called computer so press on that now as you can see I've got a rec recovery drive and that and this is just basically one drive there which has been petitioned. Now what I'm going to do is plug in a USB into the side of my computer and you hear the noise. Okay there it is it popped up right in front of your eyes. Now this also popped up and it said open this is um, like autoplay and my computer is set to run or open something when it's inserted okay so we're going to press on open and view the files and it will show me the contents of the USB stick now um, if I go back we can close that just close it now right here it says 807 megabyte free out of 980 megabyte now a thousand megabyte approximately you know equals one gigabyte okay so obviously this is a tiny little one gig flash drive okay so it's not very big at all so we won't be putting much on there but here it is okay so if you want to open it again just double click on that okay so we're in there now we can just resize, if you go to the side of this window and use the arrow, you press your um, left button down on your mouse, oop, lost it, got to get it back, click on it, press your left button down and move it over a bit, okay, so you've got that there. Now click on the other window and move that there. So this is just an easy way to see what's going on okay so what we've got here is my the stuff on my computer is over here and this is the USB drive that I just plugged in so let's say I want to copy this document 
and put it over here but I still want to keep a copy of it there so what I'm going to do see how it's selected when I click on something it's selected so what I'm going to do now since it is already selected is right click on it and I'm going to say copy and then I'm going to go over here into this blank space right and I'm going to right just right click okay and say paste and there it is now that is stored on the USB drive okay so now we've got a copy of that and we've got it there as well so it's on my computer and it's on my USB drive so let's say we want to take a few more okay just take so we'll select a few more so how are we going to do that we're going to press the control key on the keyboard okay so hold your control key down and now go and press on the files that you want to choose okay now take the control key off so these are selected now if you go click on something else now it's going to take all that away all that hard work so we've got to do it again okay right now if you keep holding the control key down you can also take ones off and on off and on and the other ones will stay all right so we've got these selected and we're going to copy and then paste okay there we go that's how easy it is now let's say I copied this one again copy and tried to paste it again it would come up and say um, do you want to copy and replace it or don't copy it because there's already a file on there that we've done okay so we can just replace it if it's a newer version or we just say don't copy just forget it all right now the other thing that you might need to know so just say you're backing up um, just say you want to move these files off your computer permanently we would we'll do it a little bit different I'll move down we'd actually um, select a file and instead of pressing copy we're going to press cut now what it's going to do is cut that file from this location and then paste it over here it's not a copy though because then the file is going to be missing from this location okay it's only going to be stored on the place where it's copy uh, been pasted to so when you copy it it stays in the same location as well but when you cut it you're cutting it away okay all right so you've got to be careful with that um, but that if you just want to clear these files out and make your computer nice and clean or something because um, lots of people need to get rid of some files to speed up their computer well um, you would be cutting them and pasting them now before you um, go and think oh yeah my files are all good just double check that they work okay so double click on that and open it okay to see whether it comes up okay so we know that those files work now they're stored on the USB drive and um, that's it it's done so you can take that USB drive out now usually you go down right down to the start menu down um, this is called the notification area down here and it usually if you click on it you can't see all the icons if you just mouse over these little things it'll tell you what it is and this one says safely remove hardware and eject so press on that and it'll say um, eject the storage device and it's gone now what that did I can take it out now okay it's telling me I can take it out now the reason I did that is because um, if you do that it has time to finish writing the files and it knows it's going to be taken out if you just rip those USB um, flash drives out of your computer it might be halfway through um, writing a file to it and it could corrupt it 
okay so I know it's a pain in the butt and everything but if you want to keep things nice then you've got to do things properly all right thanks for watching